All right, this lesson is on extending the duration of your video so that it spans the length of your movie. So we're gonna go ahead and we've already placed a video in here and that's this one here. And we'll notice that currently it only goes to 350. I'm gonna go ahead and select that layer. And to extend it, you're gonna go to layer, time, time stretch. You're gonna get the new duration here. We'll notice our duration is 600 frames, which is 20 seconds. So we're gonna change it from instead of 354 to 600. And then we're gonna just go ahead and leave these settings as they are and hit okay. And you'll notice that it just stretched it out all the way through instead of finishing here. Now, if you were to play this, you may notice it's a little bit jumpy because anytime you mess with the time, you're messing with the frame rate. And now the program is trying to compensate for what's not there in terms of frames because you took a certain amount of frames and you turned them into less frames. So you might notice jumpiness. Uh, to fix that, we just go through a couple more steps. We make sure this is selected. We go to layer, frame blending, and then we're gonna do pixel motion. That's the better option of the two, it's more accurate. And then once you've done that, the next step is just to turn on frame blending here, okay? And that'll usually make your render be a little bit smoother. You can go ahead and play it. And the first render, when you look at this, it's gonna look like nothing is happening. And right now that's the green part that's rendering. But after it's fully rendered, the preview, it'll go ahead and start at the beginning and then you'll be able to look at it in real time, okay? So we're just gonna let it run through but I'm gonna speed it up in this video just so you don't have to wait through all of this. All right, so now there it is playing. You'll notice it'll be smooth. Basically that frame blending will allow it to go smoothly or as smoothly as possible considering that you've lost a lot of frames. All right, so there you have it. That's how you stretch your timeline. Below, I'm gonna provide a link for other things such as freeze frame, but we're not gonna go over any of those. They're not required. Um, but if you wanna take a look at them, I'll give you a link to that. All right, this concludes your lesson on stretching your video to take up the amount of time of your movie. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact me.